Yo, 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 guys, today I'm doing a mad thing. So I'm going to read out what I'm doing. I am doing 10 wide grip pull-ups, 12 chin-ups, 14 dips, 16 high bar press-ups, the parallel bars, um, 18 um, leg raises on the dip bar, 20 press-ups, 18 leg raises again on the dip bar, 16 pre high bar press-ups, 14 dips, 12 chin-ups, 10 pull-ups. Mate, without break. So I'm gonna sweat. The reason why I'm doing it like this now is because I feel like, for me, sweating and stuff, well, not just for me, I think in general, the phone might drop. Wait a second. I feel like in general, it's like, I prefer it this way. Cause yes, I feel the pump, I feel the burn. I just feel it more, especially when you're like, you're tired, isn't it? Imagine doing four, you wanted to do 14 dips, but you broke it down into two. Yeah, the four might be better if you'd done it in two, two reps of whatever, how many sets, yeah. But for me, I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel it more if I do 14 in a row. Obviously I'm doing more than 14, but you get what I'm saying, innit? Like I'll talk about that after I've done the full exercises, but I've warmed up. I didn't skip today because I've ran on Tuesday, no, Wednesday, hurt my hamstring. So I'm not risking it, not gonna skip, but I worked on my legs on Wednesday as well anyway. So my legs are a bit tired, but yeah, I'm ready, man. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a bit scary, but I'm ready. The reason why I'm saying it's gonna be scary is because, fam, this many reps, I don't think I've done that many reps before. I'm gonna add it up and tell you after. Seven.
And this one I think this one's easier to record with because if I leave my phone here no one's really gonna steal it but if I run all the way up there let me show you all the way up to to there someone might steal it man. but yeah let's go guys I finished my forearms are on fire as in like I can't even move them properly because they're actually they're actually hurting but yeah it was a good workout spam a lot of the things well some of the things didn't record because it was so windy so i literally stopped recording after a while because the phone was dropping literally every like four 10 seconds or something you just get dropping 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 after a while and i was like calm you know what i just won't record it's not the end of the world i'll talk to you guys about it you know what i'm saying but like today was good I was I was more tired than I thought. If you realise when I started doing the dips first, fam, the front of my shoulders and my upper chest was done. Like, and I literally just started. As soon as I went down to do one, and my triceps, I could feel, yeah, it's going to be hard. Do you get what I'm saying? Even the dip, the leg raises I did on the dip bar, it was hard as well. Like, I was... The only thing that was kind of decent was the pull-ups and chin-ups. I, I, obviously, yes, they're hard, but because I feel heavy, but they felt fine do you get what i'm saying as in compared to everything else the press-ups are press-ups in it i need to get i need to do more press-ups because i need to just improve them on my press-ups it's that simple i need to just spam press-ups more press-ups but guys the main thing is yeah basics 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 having your head basics literally basics if you're doing something just stick to the basics like basics like there was even a guy that came into the outdoor gym today yeah he came in and he, he asked some other guy, oh, can you teach me how to do a muscle-up? Obviously, the guy turned around and said, yeah. So he said, all right, calm. Before you do that, do do a few pull-ups where your chest hits the bar. Because obviously, if you can do a muscle-up, he's expecting you to be able to explode. Do you get what I'm saying? So he, when I say explode, I mean up. Like, you should be able to do a few good pull-ups because you're meant to be good at pull-ups if you're going to do a muscle-up. Calm. Calm. Anyways... Yeah, when he tried to do them pull-ups, he couldn't do them. But he was saying, oh, yeah, the pull-ups are easy. I just need to learn how to do a muscle-up. He couldn't do, like, three pull-ups without, like, bang. Like, you see when you're meant to rock back so your chest hits it instead of you go over it? Because when you do a muscle-up, you're meant to explode back of it. Anyways, he couldn't do it. Then, yeah, there was that, oh, you need to work on your pull-ups more first, which is the truth in it. But he was like, no, 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 I know how to do pull-ups. But fam, when I say, like... People want to really skip that part of mastering something. Me, I don't know how long it's going to take me. It could take me six, seven months. When I say good at pull-ups, I mean being able to do 15, 16, 17 in a row. Clean, bang, 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 clean. Not no, ugh, 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 no, like clean. Anyways, what do you call it? I was today on my wide grip pull-ups and chin-ups. I didn't lock my arms out fully because I posted a short about it and it's true. If I go here like that, this is me locked out and I go up, calm, and I go back here, fam, you can't balance because you've just, what's the word? Like decontracted everything. Do you get what I'm saying? But you still want to be in a bit of contraction. It's like doing a bicep curl on a cable machine and then with a dumbbell. On a cable machine, even when you are at the bottom here, it's still contracted. But on a dumbbell, it's straight down. That's why they say sometimes cable curls are better or whatever, because there's always tension. So when I did the pull-ups, I was going here, then just there. So I was still tense there, like that. And deep, I could, I was doing what? Four. I started off with four. Four. And then finished with two or whatever. In a row without stopping because I had more balance. So it, it makes sense. I also feel like I want to talk a little bit about like just discipline. Because that, the reason why I'm talking about discipline is because I went to the outdoor gym a bit late, innit? When, when I say late, I mean normally I'll go at like 1 or 12, 12 between 12.30 and 
is when I was good. But I, today I went out three thirty because I just couldn't. I couldn't be bothered, didn't it? But I said to myself, Nah, I need to be disciplined and I need to go. I need to go. I need to do it. I need to do it. I need to do it. So I was like, Come, I'm gonna do it because I was easy just gonna post a few shorts and done. But no, I told myself. I put in my calendar on my phone that I'm gonna go. So I had to go and I did it. I'm happy. I went. Do you get what I'm saying? Anyways, yeah, I did complete that workout today. Obviously, you didn't see all of it, but I did complete. But it was just windy. But yeah, back to the discipline thing. Fam, all it takes is like one good day or one good this or one good that. No matter how bad it is or no matter how lazy you are, if you've done it once, you can do it again. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, calm. I've been training. Forget calisthenics for a second. I play tennis. Yeah, I've been training for years, years, years. 16 years plus tennis and obviously yeah i stopped during lockdown and stuff because you literally the courts are locked but apart from that i've never really stopped do you get what i'm saying i've slowed down but i've always played and it's like it's just discipline again if you know you need to do it and you want to do it you will do it even if sometimes yes it's the truth if you don't want to do it you still have to push yourself to try to do it do you get what i'm saying so it's like just be disciplined and do it for example, if you're doing, if you're trying to do more calisthenics or whatever, just do it. Like, it's going to be hard. You're going to be tired. You're not, you're not meant to enjoy it all the time. Yeah, guys, you're not meant to enjoy every single time you train or it's not meant to be fun. You know, sometimes, yes, it is. And you, you're motivated at the start to go and do it. So it's like, well, yes, I can't wait to do it. But when you clock, like, fam, that outdoor gym, once it hits winter, October, and it's like uh single digit degrees it's empty all day is empty if you go to when i started because i started in january look how empty it was i was there by myself most of the time in that whole place they wasn't going there and that's what i mean by discipline you're not meant to just enjoy every single time you do it because you want to because you want to be good at it yeah you can see the goal and the vision of oh imagine i can do muscle ups but fam that whole journey getting there of course it's not going to be easy but you're not meant to just give up just be disciplined and don't stop. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I feel like people will stick to something for three months or whatever, but then because it's hard, they just stop in it because they think, oh, wait, it's just too hard. Like, then excuses coming and whatever, but family, you just have to grind it out, man. Like, literally grind it out. It's even like, it's even like posting videos. Another thing, fam, since I've started, yeah, I start, I posted since from 2019 yeah yeah 2019 and that year obviously that's when i just started so i wasn't like on it like that because i didn't know how to do it or i didn't know like i just didn't know like that in it so i still posted i probably posted like like 30 something videos which is still can't but i just started so i still was trying to post then 2020 came lockdown i spammed out at least that year because i was doing reactions and stuff i'm sure i made like i don't even know like 300 and something videos that's when i was starting to get better subscribers and started getting paid and everything i was spamming i was moving mad i'm sure there was days in lockdown i was posting eight reactions a day and the way i was making reactions back then i didn't have my whole computer it was long but i still did it anyways then i then next year came did next year but last year then this year and i've never stopped i've took breaks and i say breaks i mean like maybe a month or like maybe to a month or four weeks or something but i've always posted i've never stopped you could, fam half of the time i'm gonna be so honest i, I don't want to post because it's just sometimes it's just long in it like it just feels oh i need to do it. but at the end of the day if you said you're going to do sign you can take breaks you don't have to complete everything in one go or what you set out you need to do it there and then but just stick to what you told yourself do you get what i'm saying just stick to it it's the same as like like fam anything and i think the reason why i can think like that is because i play tennis and because i played tennis for so many years i know to get good at something like tennis mate it doesn't happen like that like that it's literally a marathon it takes years it takes years deep mr beast didn't get 1k subscribers for five years so me sitting here with nearly 7k and um i've been doing it for like four years or whatever i turn around and say Oh, I need to stop because I'm not on a high number of subscribers yet or whatever. Fam, look at him now. You think he was thinking that it was possible back when he had less than 1K? You literally 
don't know what can happen. You literally don't know what anything can happen. So if you're doing something, can you actually like doing it? No matter, yes, you're not meant to enjoy it all the time. You're not. But just stick to it. You get what I'm saying? Be disciplined. My arms are dead, but stick to it. Yeah, and I'm just saying all of that because even today, I didn't want to go because I was, I am still tired because I've been working out all week, innit? So obviously, I've, I've only done two, no, three sessions in the outdoor gym, but I go to gym, I've been doing other stuff, tennis and everything. So it's like, oh, I'm tired, but I know I'm, I need to go. It's not that deep. It's not the end of the world. It's, you're, I'll probably be only be in there for an hour and a half, two hours. Do you get what I'm saying? Then you can chill. So whatever you're doing, just do it. Because in the long run, when you look back and whatever you wanted to do worked out and you're sitting in that fat house with everything you've dreamed, fam, you're going to be like, I'm happy I didn't stop, man. I'm happy. But yeah, make sure that comment subscribe. We're trying to hit 10K now in a bit.